Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. It's Halloween. So if you're anything like me, you might have some of these guys kicking about and often wonder what to do with them once you've finished or even once you've started carving them. So you might see lots of social media posts saying things like make sure you leave your pumpkins in the garden so as the hedgehogs and all the other creepy crawlies can feast off them. But if you're a fish keeper, why not let your fish feast off them as well? Because these make brilliant pleco treats. So when you finish carving, you generally end up with a big tub of innards like this. And while the more culinary minded of you might be making soups and pies and things like that, there's no reason why you can't make some fish food out of this. And when I say make, that's really stretching it. It's literally just dropping it in a tank. I'm going to use it for plecos, um, but any fish that like vegetable stuff, they will love feasting on this. And you don't really need to do any kind of preparation, it's just literally stick it in your tank. So let's go and do that. You've seen me feed courgette before, there's, in fact that one's made a cave out of that courgette. Um, but the snails and the plecos, they love that stuff. That one's got away from it, but we generally feed them with a fork. So all those people who ask me all the questions, why have you got a fork in your fish tank? It's the way down that. But as you can see, sometimes they escape. But what we'll do is we'll grab one of these forks, uh, we'll stick it in a little bit of melon. Melon? No, pumpkin even. And we'll get it in the tank and see if the fish go for it. So we've got a fork, we've got a smile. I think this is a smile from a pumpkin, the bit that we cut out. So this is good for when you've carved the pumpkin and once you've finished with it and you're about to chuck it away, cut off a few chunks and then chuck the rest of the bottom of your garden and let the hedgehogs and whatever it else it is, feed on it. But literally, just stick a fork in it, and it's done. And then we drop it in the tank. I love nothing else. The snails really love it. Um, last year, all the bristlenose plecos were going mental for the, the pumpkin. I know they've not quite found it yet, but I'm sure they will, given a little bit more time. In other news, what was the tank of death for the rainbow fishes is now the tank of birth. We've got a tank full of loads of different colours of fry for the, the bristlenose plecos that were in here um, so you can see a, a wee white albino one there um, we'll zoom across here there's a more traditional brown if it ever focuses on it so all is not lost at this tank So not a complete loss, if you saw the last video you know that that tank um, lost a bunch of rainbow fish in there but we've now got, uh, at best guess, at least 30 or 40 bristlenose fry. Um, so that'll do for now, just a quick update, hopefully you have a spooky time tonight and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!